Hey everyone, this is Nitro. I've been getting a question from a lot of uh, people via whispers and private messages, and I thought I'd answer it in this video so that everyone can get a look at it. And the question is, how do you build a Leaden up properly? So I'll just talk about Leaden in this video and start from scratch and talk about his current state and how he should end up in the future as well. So, Leaden. If you got him very early, uh, he's actually a real struggle to use because Leaden is one of those characters that absolutely need you to unlock both of his main class lines in order to be usable. So you have to basically put in, I believe, two or three runestones to use him properly. Um, the reason for this is because in his Paladin line, he gets his guard skill, Divine Guard. Now, he does have another guard skill in the general line, which is the Lance Phallix, but it's not a really good guard skill for him. Divine Guard is the one that he really wants because it replaces his attack with the total of his magic defense and defense values. Now, in addition to that though, you also have to unlock his Gladiator and King line because that's where his Lancer units are. Any tank who's going to be guarding will be fighting enemy cavalry units. And in order to fight cavalry, you absolutely need Lancers. So his uh, Gladiator and King line is absolutely vital for anybody who wants to use Leaden. So with that said, uh, it's also very interesting because his Gladiator and King line is actually an infantry class. What that means is infantry suffer penalties when they fight cavalry units. I believe they do less damage and they also take more damage from the cavalry. So they get minus attack percent and they get take and then the cavalry enemy gets plus percent attack. So what that really means is you have to unlock his Paladin and Templar line because otherwise Leaden himself won't do that much damage to enemy cavalry. While his Lancers may counter the cavalry, he himself will not. Now, I'll stop to note that I actually don't have the Templar class unlocked myself, and that's because I've been trying to save my gold. Every time you change between advanced classes, they charge you 30,000 gold. So if you had to change, let's say I go into King line, that's 30,000 gold. Then I change into Templar line to use Templar, that's another 30,000 gold. Then later, I change into King line again to master this class, that's yet another 30,000 gold. And then finally, I change back to Templar, because Templar should be the class that Leaden is in. That's yet another 30,000 gold. So by changing back and forth constantly, you're costing yourself 120,000 gold. Whereas if I just went into King now, and then into Templar later, I'd save myself, I think, 60,000 gold in total. So that's why I haven't unlocked Templar yet. Um, in fact, I'm almost level 54 on my characters. So the next time I level, I'll be able to master the King class, and then that's when I'll finally unlock Templar and start leveling that one up. So let, with all that said, let's move on. Uh, let in his talent is amazing. First, his talent decreases the amount of damage he takes from attacks. N the other thing about his talent is when he's attacked with a melee attack, as long as his hit points is pretty high, he attacks twice. So he does double damage. So if you combine this with the Divine Guard ability, which, which really gives him a very high attack value, he can practically crush any enemy in a counter-attack. So that basically covers Lenin in a nutshell. Um, let's talk about his soldiers now. So. When Leden first unlocks the Elite Lancers at I think around level 35, 30, yes, he unlocks Elite Lancers at level 30. And he becomes very, very usable at that point as long as you have Divine Guard as a tank. Now, there is a problem though. When everyone hits level 35, they advance into their advanced class. And that's when the tier 3 units like Heavy Infantry and so on start showing up on maps. That's when the elite lancers start becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. So at around level 40 to level 50, which is when uh, Leden finally unlocks the phallus units, you absolutely have to use Amazon champions in the training ground. 
Um, so leveling up your training ground, bringing it to level 12 so that you can get these emeralds on champions to use as a stopgap measure is very, very important. You know, unlocking these emeralds on champions, it gives him access to a tier 3 unit to use while he doesn't have access while he doesn't have the phallox units. Uh, if you, you, I mean, at the same time, I have to admit, you can use, let's say, uh, his other classes units, which is the exorcist. They are viable, and I have also seen people use um, the uh, the holy training ground units he has access to, which is the exorcist. Oh, sorry, which is the zealots. So the zealots can also be utilized. They're not great compared to the Amazon champions, but they do work as, st as a stopgap measure as well. So while you're leveling them up, you can't, there's a bunch of different types of soldiers that you can use for Leden, but uh, be aware that while you're using those soldiers, he should be pretty vulnerable to cavalry, unless he has either Amazon champions or phallix. But once you finally hit level uh, 50 and get the phallic units, that's when Lenin really starts to shine. The reason for that is because the phallic, their perk is that it take less damage, less physical damage. So as long as they're attacked by enemy cavalry, these phallic units are absolutely monstrous. In addition, there's one training ground technology that is absolutely vital for Leaden, and that's in their basic training ground, and it's the anti-cavalry specialty. So, getting this anti-cavalry specialty in at max level, it increases Lancer attack and defense by 30% when battling against cavalry. So that really makes these phallic units monsters against cavalry. Uh, if you have this maxed and you upgrade the phallic technology up to level 5 or level 6, they take an additional 20% less physical damage, get 15% additional stats, and they're very, very hard to kill by enemy cavalry. Um, for the other technologies in the training ground, you know, they're just slight boosts. I think each tech you upgrade gives a very, very minor statistic increase. So it doesn't really, really matter. Uh, it's just, you see, 2% increases, they're not as vital as uh, all stats plus 15%. So, other than that, uh, let's talk about Ledin's equipment. The interesting thing about Ledin is that all his equipment are, is practically free equipment. The SSRs are all unlocked for free via events and via the missions, the challenges specifically. For example, when you hit level 40, you get, it, you get an Aeneas helmet. And when you hit level 50, you actually get a King's Amulet. And in addition to the King's Amulet, there's also an event, the Battle of Honor event, where when you hit level 50, you also get Aeneas' armor. So with Aeneas' armor, Aeneas' helmet, and the King's medal, uh, King's Amulet, you have all the equipment you really need for Leaden. So let's just bring up my Leaden's equipment sheet to show it. So, for his weapon, I give him an Oath Sword that's currently level 30, and that's all you really need, because um, his attack stat is really replaced by, in the, by Divine Guard, so his attack stat doesn't really matter. Uh, rather, I'm just relying on this level 30 Oath Sword for the plus 6% defense bonus that it gives. Aeneas' armor, which was uh, given to me for free, I maxed this out as soon as I could. So it's level 50, maxed up the equipment. And the reason for that is because it gives plus 10% defense. It increases the amount he heals. It gives 65 defense and 400 hit points. So it's just a huge defense buff, which makes, an, which makes Leaden very hard to kill. It's the same thing with the King's Amulet. Plus defense, plus hit points, and the, ta and the perk is whenever there's another friendly unit within two blocks, his defense and magic defense is increased by 8%. So at level, f when this gets up to level 50, this becomes 10% increase to his defense and magic defense, 
which is huge. Uh, and finally, for Aeneas' helmet, I strongly recommend you bring that to level 40 as soon as you could. Because, again, it gives plus percent defense, good amount of hit points, some magic defense, and yeah, it's just a great helmet, and it only needs you to commit two uh, epic martial spirits into it. The reason I say level 40 as soon as possible is because when you clear the time rift map 8-2, you actually, the treasure on the map 8-2 normal is actually another Aeneas' helmet. So you can use that to bring this up to level 50 if you have enough hammers and gold to upgrade it. But the priority for equipment is definitely, I would say, first uh, your melee DPS weapon, which is probably the last knight. Max that out as soon as possible. The second priority would probably be Aeneas' helmet, because you got that at level 40. So you'll probably want to bring that to level 40 as soon as possible. Then the third item is Aeneas' armor. Max that out to level 50 as soon as you get it. So try to have three epic martial spirits on hand when when you hit level 50 so you can max this out. And then the final thing would be King's Amulet. And try to bring that to level 40, level 50 as soon as possible as, as well. So with my current stats, uh, with my current equipment on my lead-in, actually, if I bring up his stats page, you can see his defense is around 338. His magic defense is close to 200, close to 200. So what that means is, with the faction buff, which increases his defense by 20% and magic defense by 30%, when I use the vine guard with the faction buff together, his attack value jumps to around, I think it was a bit over 750. So with 750 attack that attacks twice, my Ledin is able to basically one-shot any melee character that attacks him. Um, and yeah, that pretty much covers how you should build Ledin. All his equipment comes free for SSR items. And as soon as you get you know, so as when you hit level 50, that's when Leaden really starts to shine. Your main priority is to gather Aura Column Ore, so you can buy Epic Martial Spirits, so that you can upgrade this, these items as soon as you possibly can. Finally, let's quickly talk about Enchants. Uh, if you want to make Leaden as tough as possible and have as crazy of a counterattack as possible, just try to have all his, de his equipment provide plus defense. Ideally, it would be a plus defense percentage, like on my armor. But, uh, you know, if you get plus magic defense, it's okay. It's nowhere near as good as getting plus uh, actual plus defense, because you are you deal more with physical attacks than magic attacks. But plus magic, defense, plus magic defense is okay as well. Especially when it's 9% like this, it's very hard to replace unless you get something like plus 9% or plus 11% uh, defense. Other than that, uh, that pretty much concludes all of Ledin's equipment. The, his weapon doesn't really matter for a while, and you just want to max out his armor and King's Amulet first, and then Aeneas' helmet, as long as he's level 40, it will get maxed out by itself. Also, just a quick note about his weapon. Um, on the Chinese server, it's well known that, I believe it was on map, the Time Rift map 10... Eight, I think it was, that you get his final weapon, the Oath of Justice weapon. So what that means is, even his weapon can be uh, gotten for free. You don't have to gamble for it the way you have, it have to for other classes. Once world number 10 appears in the time rift, it's not available right now in North America, but it will be, and you clear 10-8, you get Lenin's final weapon. So I can just quickly bring up some of the other equipment that Leden would prefer to use at, in Endgame. And just give me a moment. I'm just going to jump into the uh, Wikipedia for this game. And let's bring it up. Okay, here we go. So I have some of his gear opened and his in-game gear, if you're lucky to get them, you can just upgrade those right away, instead of, let's say, upgrading the King's Amulet the way I did. Accessory. 
What's recommended for his final accessory is the Overlord Badge. And the reason is because it, first, it gives plus 5% to all stats, and more importantly, it gives immunity, immunity to defense and magic defense down, to attack and intelligence down, as well as mobility down. So what this means is, yeah, I mean, without his defense and magic defense being uh, affected, his attack will always stay high, and being immune to mobility down means he's more likely to be able to guard your other characters. Because there's a lot of skills that apply mobility down, which also disables guard. So his final equipment for accessory is widely considered to be Overlord Badge, but in the meantime, using the uh, King's Amulet is perfectly fine too. In terms of armor, his final armor is usually considered to be the Bloodline Magic Armor. And what the Bloodline Magic Armor does, it, it gives life and defense plus 1%, so that means at max level, this increases to plus 5% life, plus 5% defense. So it actually provides less defense than the Aeneas' armor, but it has the advantage in that there's a, there is a special skill, I guess. So when you're attacked by melee, there's a 10% chance for this to apply. The battle damage is reduced by 30%. So at max level, this increases from 10% to 30%. So there's a 30% chance to reduce uh, the damage taken by 30%, which is more effective than 5% uh, defense, basically. So it's, it's an armor that keeps Leden alive better, as well as keeping those phallax units alive better. Which is why it, the Bloodline Magic Armor is considered Leden's final uh, armor. Helmets. The, the best helmet for Leden is considered to be Char uh, Charon, and Charon's effect is it gives 2% defense, which goes up to 10%, and there is a 25% chance that an enemy within 3 tiles will suffer a 15% increase to all damages for one round. This, at max level, this increases to 50% chance. So what that means is you can move your Leaden up aggressively. If this debuff applies, then all your other characters will hit that target harder. So this is widely considered to be uh, Leaden's best helmet. The other helmet he can use is Vampire Mask. Um, just like the Charon, there's a defense boost of 2% that maxes out at 10%. And again, for the perk, it has a 25% maxing out at 50% chance to reduce the enemy defense by 20%. This one's not as good because, in all honesty, there's a lot of debuffs that apply 20% uh, uh, defense malice, I guess, uh, whereas there's not very many things that apply a 15% damage increase. So that's why Vampire Mask is not considered as good as uh, Charon. So that pretty much covers uh, all the equipment for Leaden, and... oh. There is one more, the Oath of Justice that I mentioned. Let's bring that up quickly. And it's right here. So the Oath of Justice, it increases both his defense and magic defense values. And at max level, that's 8% defense, 8% magic defense. You get one for free, so, you know, it's just, there's absolutely no reason not to use it as a result. And with on that final point, that pretty much covers Leaden as a character. I mean, all while his end game equipment you do have to gamble for it's just it's a stat increase but it's not like a dramatically it's not i guess game ending if you don't have that equipment having a level 50 Aeneas's armor level 50 Aeneas's helmet level 50 king's amulet gives you an incredible leaden as it is you know it's just when you have time later on you can roll for that for those uh, end game items but in in the meantime, you can per it's perfectly fine to use the free equipment set and still end up with a monster Leaden who can pretty much tank any hit from any enemy. 
So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability. And I hope this video was informative to you. And thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.